I honestly don't really believe that I chose to farm this piece of ground. Sometimes I really think that this piece of ground chose me to take care of it and to farm it. So if I was to lose it, then I feel like I'd be losing a large part of who I am and what I've been called to do in life. The decision came naturally to me to want to make my living off the land in an agricultural way. When I was first going to college and I started to be exposed to the issue of climate change and the science of climate change, I came to realize that that was going to be probably the defining issue of my generation and of the generations to follow. So this is no-till diverse high input, which means it's the the high nitrogen side of the system. This is actually pretty clean. If you go down, the next one down is the low input. There wasn't really anything else in my life at that time that I felt was as urgent and needed to be decided upon than how to live a life in the context of, of a world that was going to be radically changing. I thought more and more about climate change and nothing really seemed like a feasible way to deal with it. You know, it, it all seemed too insignificant. And, and then finally, one night laying in bed, it just dawned on me that the best way to deal with that would be to take all the things that climate change deals with and put it in my own hands. And to me, that realization was to become a farmer. When I first approached my father, asking him to manage this farm, his first reaction was to say that absolutely no way, that he wasn't going to set me up out here to fail. I had no experience in farming. All I really had was the enthusiasm to go out and do it. Agriculture is the manipulation of energy to create food and our modern system of agriculture is designed to use fossil fuel type of energy. Gas, oil, diesel fuel, gasoline. We now rely completely on fossil fuels for that energy to grow our food. Since there's so many more people on the planet, such a higher demand for food, there's a much higher demand for, for energy, for fossil fuel energy. When we use that energy, we're releasing carbon into the atmosphere. It causes the atmosphere to heat up. And as it heats up, it changes the relationships between water, plants, animals, and that ch changes the fundamentals of agriculture. This is the kind of place where you can solve a problem like climate change. There is the opportunity to build up a new agricultural system. I want to create an agricultural system that is ecologically regenerative and less dependent upon fossil fuels. I have noticed with the older neighbors, they have a very real sense that they are leaving this area and they're leaving this world behind to us in a very bad state. I've seen a lot of sorrow behind my neighbor's eyes when I tell them that I want to farm out here and I want to try to make a living. I love this place because it gives me the palette to paint my own life. Plants are color and their texture. They give you the means to just transform a landscape into something that's not only beautiful, but something that's incredibly practical and that can feed you, feed your family, your neighbors, and your community. All the while helping to restore what we've lost on our planet. Favorite thing to sample from the garden? Probably carrots. Fresh from the garden, they're very sweet, delicious. <laughs> the biggest fear I have is that by choosing to have lived a life that's a reaction to climate change, is that I will have done all this 
and it will have been in vain and that people around me and that society in large and the world around us will have completely ignored um, everything that we can see with our own two eyes and that science can tell us and that religions can tell us and will have basically forsaken this amazing gift that we've been given. Our society and our peers has never told us that we need to make an effort to change the way we live. So I, I think it takes courage to be the one that says, all right, this is important to me. This is something that needs to be acted upon. And that's an incredibly hard thing to do, to take a stand and break with tradition and status quo, that it's almost terrifying to even take the first step towards it. The best thing that the Montana state government could do to help me as a beginning farmer is they can recognize that there is a shared resource that is the atmosphere and that to be a successful farmer that atmosphere needs to be protected and treated in a way that allows the climate to function and to be resilient and to be healthy. My name is John Thebus. I'm 23 years old. I'm a beginning farmer in the agricultural heart of Montana.